What is up, everybody? We are back again with another character reveal. This time it's Safina. If you know, Safina is my secondary character. So super excited on this one. Um, based off the influencer build that we saw with the moveless video stuff, um, she had a lot of Azazel um, moves. Pretty much one new move in each of their stances. And then in her normal stance, she had, I think she had a couple of new, new strings. But the main thing was um, when she used any move that had the arm, she lost health. Um, and the thing is, some of them were her heat engagers. So the payoff is there, right? So you, you go for the heat engager. If it hits, you regain the life. But if it doesn't hit, you lose health, right? Um, so a lot of that stuff was there. And then the other in her heat gimmick was all the hand moves gained armor. And I don't think they they cause her like they cause her health in order to use. So in heat, she can use it with, not not willy nilly because they cause heat timer, but there's no life penalty on it. Um, and what else was there? Like there was a lot of things that were removed. There was a couple scarecrow strings that were removed, a couple mantis strings that were removed. Um, but there was a few big buffs which I'm not sure a lot of people are necessarily talking about because there's not a lot of Safina mains out there. But the Safina mains know that these couple new buffs are pretty big. Um, and there is a big nerf, like back one plus two. You can no longer do it out of normal stance. It's locked behind Scarecrow, which is fine, to be honest, because now it's plus on hit. So good trade-off, I guess. Um, so yeah, so let's hop right into it. Peggy 16. And I will say her outfit is just such a good outfit. Even her alternate outfit they gave her was pretty, really freaking good. So, so Safina mains are eating good this time around. Well, eating better this time around. We're finally past the Tekken 6 Tag 2 Safina era. Mystic Stargazer. One thing I don't like. They changed the voice actress. It's no longer the same character, the same actress as before. Now it's Nina's voice actress. So it kind of sounds like Nina. Like the Nina actress didn't change much. But oh, that's a good buff. That's another big buff. <laughs> okay, so all these moves, like I'll explain it in the breakdown, but they're pretty beefy, right? So all these moves that with the hands are out, she takes like 10 damage every single time, which is substantial. Okay, back for four. So that that one jumping move was running one plus two, and then that ends in tarantula, and then she did the tarantula down forward one, which is a new move in that one section. Um, I'll try to break it down. Good. Everything happens so fast. Okay, so that's a semi buff. Okay, that is the heat smash out of Scarecrow, which is a low. Four four three on counter hit. Gives a free heat engager, and then that's the normal heat smash. Down forward one, or uh, down forward four one. See, so in, in heat, she gains armor. That is the new forward one plus two. So her wall bounce is gone. And okay, I don't know what the input on this move is because that's what the rage art input is now. Down forward one plus two. So I will have to look at the video, the moveless video, to see what the new input is. It might be something dumb like up back one plus two or down four, two plus three or something. She looks so dope. Like people were complaining before. I was like, oh, her back dash, you know, I was like she can space you out all day. And then she can, once she gets in, she's in. And you have to guess on the 50 50 pokes and whatnot. But now it's going to be like, she's not going to have to back dash. Because <laughs> once she's in, she's going to stay in. You're going to have to like guess and contest a lot. And her main anti poke tools are still there. Down three is still there. The counter hit down three, obviously, is still there. Um, forward four is still there. Her power crush is the same, which is pretty decent still, right? Um, she still has the four, four, four. She still has four, four, two. Still has down forward two. Still has down back two. So all her main pokes are still there, but she gained while standing three. Her old wall standing three is gone. It's no longer plus on hit. I'm pretty sure it's probably like minus two now on block. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The original wall standing three was 
a juggle on hit plus on block. Now it's going to be minus on block. On hit, it's going to be, what, plus nine, I think is what it said. So it's essentially the same as our normal standing three, but now it's a mid, and it's 13 frames, which is gigantic buff. You know, it's like, so you're always going to do while standing three. You're, never, you're rarely going to do while standing four now, unless you know that your opponent has, like, an, an answer to interrupting the while standing three. That's when you switch it up to while standing four, just because that two extra frames is going to make a difference. Um, but yeah, like there's a lot of moves that are missing now. I'll go through it and in, in, very quickly in the breakdown for this, which, uh, I'm rambling now. So I'm going to go hop in resolve and edit this and we'll be right back. All right. So let's hop right into this. So while running three, she has the option to go into scarecrow, which is scary, right? Cause the one slash kick, you block it, chip damage, and she's plus frames in scarecrow. Okay. So what they're showing here is. One, the transition. Two, the counter hit down forward four from Scarecrow is still there. And then that secondary hit is Mantis down forward one. And what I said before, um, when you use the claw attacks, she takes damage. Just keep that in mind. All right, here's the brand new wall standing three. I-13 move that she can decide to go into Scarecrow or not. Here, uh, she goes into Scarecrow. So she's at plus nine on hit and does back one plus two, which hits, which is now plus frames. And then she does forward, 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 one plus two, which automatically goes into Tarantula. And then she does the new move, the new claw move out of Tarantula, which is down forward one, which is also her main combo ender now. Just based off those two final hits, I'm thinking that's like the highest combo ender you can probably do now. All right, here she blocks the hell sweep, does wall standing one, two, forward, two, three, scarecrow, and then the new claw move, which is down forward one out of scarecrow. Forward, two, three, scarecrow, down forward one, back one, just frame. All right, here we go again, slower motion. Wall standing one, two, forward, three, two, uh, forward, two, three, scarecrow, down forward one, which is a bound into the back one, just frame. So now in that sequence, She's probably lost 20 health. Well, I'm assuming it's 10 damage per claw usage, right? Uh, once the game comes out, we'll see exactly. It could be 5 damage, could be 8 damage, 6 damage, who knows. But let's just say, for uh, simplicity's sake, it's 10 damage per usage. So 20 damage loss in health there. All right, here, forward, forward, two for the wall splat. Forward, four, breaks the wall. And then wall standing two is a single hit tornado. So that's good to know, especially if you wall splat at the wall, right? So you sometimes need a single hit tornado in order to get three hits at the wall. And then she ends it with a back four, four, which hopefully is still hit confirmable and safe off the first hit, of course. If you do both hits, I think it was like minus 13 or 14 or something. This makes you wonder if she still has access to like the wall splat up forward one, down forward one, two, delay one. Maybe she doesn't have that anymore. Who knows? We're 10 days away, folks. And here's the special intro with Claudio, which is kind of cool. That initial pose is a little weird. It's probably just there for fan service. Let's be real. I wonder who else she has an intro with, probably Double Jin. Okay, and here, this is a semi uh, buff, cause that, if you dip uh, down back one plus two, one plus two in second seven and in tag, the second hit would blast them away if you landed the first hit. So now that she gets a mini combo, it's a buff. So now, in slow-mo, here she does the heat burst, does the bound, Forward, two, three, Scarecrow into the heat, the low heat smash out of Scarecrow. And then it does the same thing as the Rage Drive in Tekken 7. So here they're probably just showing a slow option. She can probably do two hits to get like a wall carry, maybe if you need it. Like a down forward one, four. And then that'll give you the extra carry to reach the wall if it's 
if you're just at a distance, right? Or you can probably just go manually into Scarecrow and then do the new Scarecrow move to one because that blasts really far away. And here is one of the nerfs. Counter hit 4, 4, 3 no longer juggles, which is unfortunate, but it's, it's needed, I guess, because everyone is losing things like this in this game, right? So counter hit 4, 4, 3 is at least, what is that, 14? So it's at least 14 frames. And then she gets the new Scarecrow 2, 1, which is a heat engager. And then she runs in and does the, the the heat smash out of the normal stance, which looks exactly like um Street Fighter V Seth's ultimate attack or ultra that he had, where he pulled you into his belly and shoots you out, but she does it with her hand. All right, here she does down forward four one, which is a heat engager. And she runs in down three while standing three again and now this time they're showing you that in heat when you do the azazel arms uh she gains the power crush property on it Now here they show the new move that she has, which is four to one plus two, which is replacing the her old, I'm gonna get really low on the floor and hit you with a mid that's safe, that wall bounces. So that move's gone, unfortunately. Um, and don't be fooled by the speed, it's not that fast. It's 18 frames based off the influencer build, all right? So then here she goes, up forward one, forward two, three, scarecrow, four, which tornadoes, she's holding back to get out of scarecrow, then three, scarecrow, two, one. Pretty cool combo. Uh, at least we know her sidestep is still good, right? Which is a good sign. So tornadoes, three, scarecrow, two, one. And then they show her old down forward one plus two, which I don't know what the input is now because it shares the rage art input, so. We'll have to see what the actual new move is. And then she does her uh, domain expansion and crushes you with Azazel's arm. And then that is one of her, uh, like the best outro animations, I believe. It looks so good. Like overall, um, I like all the arm attacks, right? Because uh, by the looks of it, it's like, they look pretty safe just because if they following suit with how they did Jun's moves with where she does like her holy blast kind of stuff, those moves are safe, but it's costing her life. So they're doing the same thing with Safina. So those moves are probably safe. Um, now, as far as up like updates on moves, she lost her Scarecrow 3-3, which was the mid-mid and the follow-up low. So 3-3-4 is gone. Um, she does not have, I believe, Scarecrow down 3-3. She only has down 3. Um, she also does not have Scarecrow down 3, neutral 3. Um, what else did she, did she lose? She lost Scarecrow 3, forward 3, which was the mid-high. That's currently what the new move is. Like, if you do 3-3 three, three out of Scarecrow now, that's what you get. You get the mid-high. You no longer get the mid-mid. Um... In Mantis, she only has, like, if you do 3-3 three, three or 3-4, three, those are gone. She only has 3 is what her Tekken 7 down 3 was. So if you want to do the old down 3-1, the low into the mid punch, it's now 3-1. Um, so the 3 lows are gone. The 2 lows in the mid are gone. Um, what else is gone? There was, a, there was a couple other things that were gone off the top of my head. I'm not remembering. I'll have to look at the move list stuff again. Um, forward 1 plus 2, gone. It's replaced with that new cool move, which I believe is 18 frames. Um, and by the looks of it, since it is a quick 2 hit, you might be able to hit confirm the, the hit, the initial hit, and then tap forward for the heat dash. Because... There, like, there is a slight delay between the two hits. So if you see that the first hit gets blocked and Safina does a second hit, like, don't hold forward and you won't heat dash, right? 
um, the new wall standing three, I-13 mid in plus nine in Scarecrow or whatever the influencer build said, that's going to be chunky. Um, especially considering it's like you're in Scarecrow and Scarecrow is looking scary. Um, like Scarecrow is going to be her main stance, like by far now. Like it was already pretty powerful before. Now it's a whole lot stronger because everyone was at the end of Tekken 7, people were already sidestepping right on most of the Scarecrow stuff, especially like if you do Scarecrow 2-2. Two -two. If you block the first, you can sidestep the second one, right? So people were starting to do that. But now with this new second hit string, the 2-1 out of Scarecrow, that covers sidesteps and it's a heat engager and it's a claw attack. So it's going to do good damage. It's going to force a 50-50. And yeah, and also um, the pri that new primary ender, the forward, 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 one plus two, tarantula down forward one. Um, generally, most of those running attacks are pretty chunky damages, especially in combos. So that's probably going to be a strong two hit ender for a lot of her combos. It's, it might be better than the old forward, forward, three plus four, right? Um, but yeah. She's, she's looking scary. She's looking buff. They didn't show her backdash, unfortunately. So we don't know how that's going to translate over to Tekken 8. But everything else is looking pretty good, to be honest. The main thing that I do not like is her voice actress. They gave her Nina's voice actress, I believe. And some, some of the times, like, it sounded like Nina talking. Not Safina talking. So it's kind of unfortunate, but it, oh well. Can't get everything, right? So, yeah, guys, well, we're a few days away. No, not a few days, 10 days. So, like always, I appreciate your time. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And you have a great one. Peace.